Hello, in this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem. This is 3 to the power of root t, and this equals 27 to the power of t. We are solving for all the values of t that will satisfy this equation. Now, the base here is 3, and the base here is 27. So, observe that what we have here is an equality sign. Now, what we are going to do will be to ensure that the two bases are the same. And remember, 27 is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 3 to the power of 3. So, we are going to replace this 27 with 3 power 3. So, we have 3 to the power of root t equals 27, that is 3 power 3. And this is to the power of t. Now, if you have a to the power of n, raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So we can apply this right here. We are going to have 3 to the power of root t, and this equals 3 to the power of 3 times t, that is 3t. Now, observe this other identity. If you have a to the power of b, and this equals a to the power of c, we can equate this exponent, knowing fully well that the bases are the same. So b equals c. That means we can equate root t equals 3t. So we have square root of t equals 3t. So the next thing we are going to do will be to eliminate the square root by taking the squares of both part of this equation. So what happens here is that the square root here will eliminate the square here. Remember, the square root of t is just like writing t power 1 over 2. And when once you raise it to the power of 2, it simply means you have 1 over 2 here will multiply 2, and this will give you 2 over 2, and that is 1. So that's why we are having t here. And for this other one here, we are going to distribute the exponent to each of the terms right here. So we are going to have 3 power 2 times t power 2. So from here, on, we have t equals 3 power 2 is 9 times t power 2. 9 times t power 2, that is 9t squared, so we have t equals 9t squared. Now, we need to solve for t, so I can decide to move this t over here. That will be, we are going to have 9t squared minus t equals 0, because this becomes 0. So, what I'm going to do will be to factor out t. There's t here. There's t here. So I can factor out t. I can have t times I divide 90 squared by t. I'm going to have 90. Then I bring the minus. I divide t by t. I'm going to have 1. And this equals 0. So at this point, I can equate this to 0. I have t equals 0. I can also equate this to 0. I have 9t minus 1 equals 0. If t is 0, this is solved already, so this is our first solution. Now for this, we need to solve for the order value of t. So I have 9t minus 1 equals 0. I can move this negative 1 over here. It becomes positive 1. I have 9t equals 1. So to solve for t, I divide this by 9. I divide this by 9, 9 eliminates 9, I have t equals 1 over 9. So this becomes my second solution. Now, there is how another person can solve this question from here. Look at this question, let this be our case too. So other person might decide to solve it this way, t equals 90 squared. So somebody might divide each part of this equation by t and divide this by t. 
So what will happen here is that t eliminates t, and this will be 1. And this equals, here is 90 squared, and here is t. t cancel one of the t's, so we have 90. So you are having 1 equals 90, that means 90 equals 1 by rearranging. So to solve for t, I divide this by 9. I divide this by 9. 9 eliminate 9. So I have t equals 1 over 9. Now, in this second approach, I'm having only one solution, which is 1 over 9. But in the first approach, we had two different solutions, 0 and 1 over 9. So we are going to find out if actually 0 is one of the solutions. What we are going to do will be to check. So we have made use of two different methods. The first method gave us t equals 0 and t equals 1 over 9. While the second method gave us only t equals 1 over 9. So, let's recall the problem. 3 power root t equals 27 power t. Let's consider t equals 0. So, if t equals 0, I'm going to have here t equals 0. So, I will have 3 power square root of this is 0 equals 27 power 0. Now, square root of 0 is 0, so I have 3 power 0 equals 27 power 0 is what? So 3 power 0 is 1, any number raised to the power of 0 is 1, exception of 0. And 27 power 0 is 1. So 0 has satisfied the equation. That means 0 has satisfied the equation. Let's also consider 1 over 9. When t equals 1 over 9, I have 3 power root t equals 27 power t. Then I have 3 power square root of 1 over 9 equals 27 power 1 over 9. From here, let's consider this. If you have square root of a divided by b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So, this simply means we are going to have 3 power square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 equals 27 power 1 over 9. So from here, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 9 is 3. I have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 27 power 1 over 9. Now remember, 27 is 3 over 3. So I'm going to have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 27. I can replace it with 3 power 3. I have 3 power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9. So I can decide to multiply its exponent. Going by this identity, a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So what I'm going to have will be 3 to the power of 1 over 3 equals 3 power 3 times 1. This is 3 over 9. 3 cancel itself once, cancel 9. We have 3. So I have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 3 power 1 over 3. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1. So, this simply means a cube root of 3 power 1, and this means a cube root of 3 power 1. Remember, 3 power 1 is 3, so we have cube root of 3 equals cube root of 3. Left hand side equals right hand side. So, what this simply tells us is that 0 and 1 are actually correct. Now, the first method gave us these two solutions, 0 and 1, while the second method gave us only 1 over 9. So, the first method gave us 0 and 1 over 9, the second method gave us only 1 over 9. That means 
the first method is a better option if you want to solve in your exams. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.